Hey everyone, it's Eddie Forest Pro and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have something really exciting for you. Just a fucking thing for getting happy right now, you know. So we'll be talking about the trading sessions in the forest market and the best time to trade in each section. I can't wait to share all the fascinating insights and valuable tips with you. Whether you're a long time subscriber or you just stumbled upon my channel, I want to express my gratitude for your support and for joining me on this incredible journey. So without further ado, let's dive right in and discover the trading sessions in the forest market and the best time to trade in each section. But before we begin, make sure to stick to the end of this video because there's going to be a special bonus waiting for you. You won't want to miss out on this. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my future content. Alright, let's get this video rolling. So yeah, to become a successful forex trader, I want us to carefully study all the important aspects of the forex market and this includes understanding the different trading sessions and their respective times. The forex market is not dominated by a single exchange but by a global network of exchange and brokers throughout the world. Therefore, trading hours are based on when trading is open in every participating country. There are several trading sessions in the forex market. We have the Sydney session, Tokyo session, London session, Frankfurt section and uh, the New York session. Sydney section represents Australia and other countries within that time zone. The Tokyo session, also known as the Haitian session, represents Japan and other Asian countries. The London session represents the United Kingdom and other countries within Europe. The Frankfurt session is in Germany and represents Europe. Lastly, the New York session represents the United States and North America. Each section has its own opening and closing time. Sydney session opens at 10 pm GMT, Tokyo session opens at 12 pm GMT, London session opens at 8 am GMT. Frankfurt section opens at 9 a.m. GMT. New York session opens at 1 p.m. GMT. As a trader, it is important to be familiar with these times. To determine the corresponding time in your location, you need to know the time zone of your country or location and do the appropriate calculations. Let's take for example, Nigeria is one hour ahead of GMT. GMT plus one. So if the London section opens at 8 a.m. GMT, it will be 9 a.m. in Nigeria. All sessions last for nine hours. So to calculate the closing time, you simply add nine hours to the opening time. Let's take for example, the Sydney session opens at 10 p.m. GMT. So the closing time will be 7 a.m. GMT. Now, let's move on to an assignment. Calculate the closing time for the New York session the London session and the Frankfurt session using the same method. Remember, you already have the opening time, so you just need to add 9 hours to get a closing time. Send me your answers individually in the comment section of this video. So, understanding the best time to trade the forest market is crucial. Many forest traders don't actually understand this concept because they were not taught. The key is to trade the market when two sessions are open at the same time. This means there is more volatility and in the forest market, more volatility means more opportunities to make money. You wouldn't want to trade in a quiet market because there won't be much fluctuation and it's those moments that make money for us. So let's take for example, at 12 a.m. GMT, the Sydney session and Tokyo session are open together, creating more volatility compared to trading at 9 p.m. GMT when the market is quiet. Another example is at 8 a.m. GMT when the London session and Frankfurt session are open and Tokyo session briefly overlaps with them. During such times, you will notice an increase in volatility. Therefore, as a forex trader, it is always recommended to time your trading to fall in periods when two or more markets are open simultaneously. By doing so, you always have an edge in the market. Now, as promised, let's move on to the bonus part of this video. I recommend downloading the Forest Hour app from your Play Store or App Store. This app provides information about the trading hours of the major forest markets around the world. It helps traders know when the different forest sessions, such as Tokyo, London, and New York, 
open and close. By knowing the active hours of each market, traders can plan their trading activities more effectively, taking advantage of liquidity and volatility. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how to use this app, please drop a comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. It means a lot to me. Most importantly, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and peace out.